Hey everybody, this is not a spring check, and if you've been paying attention to the news at all, yes, Hurricane Sandy is past news, but there's a new northeaster that threatens much of, well, let's just say much of the east coast. Um, meanwhile, Skyfall, all boons, yes, the latest in James Bond. So meanwhile, we're going to bring all Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. The breaking news is New York State maybe not cleaned up by Thanksgiving. That's right. They uh, they've got they basically. It looks like there's a, going to be a huge problem with the Thanksgiving Day parade because of the um, staging areas are damaged. The um, there's no power into uh, areas where they have to be powered, and there's no place for people that they can stay in New York at the moment. So it it's a disaster. But but uh oh, Herbie Daddy says. As they did say, only this president would have been able to handle this problem, uh, unlike George Bush. Um, we'll put it this way, there's 700,000 people that have no power, they have no food, they have no fuel, they can't do anything, in the, in, and they have no jobs because of all of this, but this president handled it magnificently. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, and voting still continues in the state of Florida. Oh, uh, actually, voting—they're uh, counting the votes, but voting is still—they're demanding that the polls be reopened so that the people that were still in line, you know, why they're in line so oh. long? Because the bloody ballot was like in 138 different languages and dialects. It was <laughs> 10 pages of ballot, uh, 10 pages of actual ballot measures. But it was translated by court order. It had to be translated in every language under the sun. Oh my God! You're supposed to be speaking English to vote in our elections. Well, my philosophy was always if they can't read the English, you shouldn't be. <laughs> That's right. It's it's like, okay, you can figure, the here's States. a good idea. If they can't speak the language, don't intend to learn to speak the language. They're not citizens. Right, and they can't understand any of the materials they're sending Anybody out anyway. Anybody that you would pick up that has to have the has to have it written in Spanish is probably not here legally. Yeah, the Democrats think they now have a mandate, but what? The election's really not over yet. And the election's not over yet. Uh, and also, the day okay, two days after the election, it is exactly as it was the day before the election. Status quo, nothing. The Republicans, the Republicans didn't gain any seats, and neither, and, re, and in reality, neither did the Democrats. The seats that uh, basically seats that changed Republican hands became independent hands, and the one in Massachusetts that became a Democrat. That say the the problem was the Republicans didn't support Scott Walker because he, if it came to spending money, he supported the president a hundred percent down the line. So. And Actually, those people in the Republican Party that supported the president are no longer senators anymore. So. And media declares Obama the winner before the first ballot cast. I know. I, I, they've been, they, you know, they, they're basically saying that. Well, we did the we did all of the the polling data and everything, and so we based it on our data. Well, we're going to base it on some really empirical facts. Forty-seven percent of the people pay no federal income tax whatsoever and are on government programs. Guess what the percentage was that voted for Obama? Mm -hmm. Statistically, a hundred percent of the people that pay no income taxes and are on the, on the government payroll paid no, uh, voted for Obama. They said he got twelve percent of the vote that basically pays taxes and doesn't do business with the government. And Obama only went negative because of all the lies that Romney was telling everyone about him. I know. Romney basically... Okay. Um, I'm going to give you the perfect example why Mitt Romney lost. This morning they had an anchor talking about... He knew that Romney was not going to win because his mother told him so. And he said, why, why, why is that? And he said, well, because your, your Mitt Romney is exactly like your father. He's the most boring man on the face of this planet. He has no charisma, nobody likes him. He said, yeah, but Dad, but they're talking about father. He said, your father was a good businessman. He provided for his family and he was a good father. But did you ever hear anybody ever actually listen to anything he had to say? No. Mm -hmm. They said, that's Mitt Romney. And Obama seems to have early voter lead in key states. Well, yeah, that's sort of old news. And actually, the problem, it could still be the same news because they declared Obama the winner with uh, more than enough votes setting out to tip, to tip to the tip ballot it. against him. He oh, still, they did? Yeah, but he's already, 
uh, Romney basically never intended to be president because the guy put up no battle whatsoever. Well, actually, I'm kind of surprised that they're still counting the provisional balloting because it's after the day and they've already declared. Well, because they're going to sue. The, the, there are people that will file, even though Romney had decided not to. It, it, uh, we've got people, several Republicans, that lost their seats in uh, in balloting where they know the ballots were really screwed with. And that the military wasn't allowed to participate. Well, see, that's a problem. Yeah. That's a big problem. So this, they said this election is actually going to go probably into the next year because there's so many people that are... Basically, the right and the left are both throwing fits. The right are, The left is saying, well, this has all got to do about the Republicans trying to restrict voting. And it's all got to do with the Supreme Court has the opportunity to overthrow the entire election because it is headed to the election because every state that the election laws were passed in as much as two years ago were decided to be legal by the court, but they can't be put into effect until the day after the election. No. Mm. A lot of the, okay, Obama could not have possibly won the election if the laws that you're supposed to be voting under today had been put into effect the day of the election when they were supposed to be. Mm. And Obama banks on Bill Clinton to clinch the close states. Well, actually, Bill's endorsement was... Okay, well, what happened is, is that they're talking... Okay, I told you days ago the Democrats were wanting to replace Obama. Today, they're talking about appointing... Uh, about them going around the President of the United States and making Bill Clinton a representative of the Senate. What? To go talk to the Republicans in the House. Wait a minute. Yeah, no, they don't like this man. Bill Clinton ran on the campaign was... We realize that none of you want this man as president, but you either have him as president and the Democratic pop for progressive policies, or you have the Republicans and their regressive policies. He did nothing but attack the president. So, so wait a minute, how in the world did they, I mean, Obama is the president, how did they appoint Clinton to go talk, I mean... Because they don't <laughs> like Bill Clinton, they don't like Obama, they like Clinton. They figure that Clinton can come to some sort of arrangement that Obama never would, well, that and, is true. And, and all they have to do is to make certain there's enough votes that it's not veto-proof. I mean, oh, that, that it is veto-proof. Veto -proof, yeah. And basically, Obama is basically pissed off. The Senate told him, the Senate said, F you, you won the presidency. You know, go go somewhere and play oh. golf for the next four years because you've got nothing to do with this government anymore. Oh, already? Well, yeah, they, uh, they basically it hadn't counted on the fact that... Uh, he had not. He actually had not counted on the fact the market total collapsing. Well, and yeah, that, they've got to be pissed off about that. The one. Federal Reserve just made the announcement that basically we are now on the verge of a new recession, and it has been. What the people said, and it is an Obama recession, because of all the new laws and all, uh, and every and the taxes are coming forth. The it's just the country's folded. They're, they're blaming it on the Europeans. Obama said it's not my fault. It's George Bush and the Europeans' fault. And red flag warning remains in effect. Yeah, well, they had a little bit of rain this morning here, but... It's there was supposed to be a red flag warning today? Yeah, well, there's not been enough rain to solve anything. All, what, it basically, it just knocked the dust down, but they're still telling people, don't go into areas that are fire hazards. And first Native American saint stirs pride and skepticism. Oh, God, that's really the most stupid thing. She cured somebody that was sick. That's called being a, a doctor. And SAP eyes long period of high sales growth report. Not likely. Uh, okay, the, here's one. How bad is the economy? McDonald's, who has not declared a loss in nine solid years, declared a loss in the last quarter and are re-advising the first two quarters downward and said they do not expect to make a profit until well into the 2013. What? Yep. But you can't buy if you don't have any money. And taxpayer data exposed on cyber attack on South Carolina agency. Yeah, that's sort of what the, the movie Skyfall was all about with cyber attacks. Enemies that you cannot see. And star Silicon Valley analyst fells by Facebook IPO fallout. I know. I think we ran out of time a long time ago. Well, the Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. That if you don't watch the clock, you often go over. Really?